many generations have passed since your illustrious ancestor bravely defended the walls of Zhengzhou against the ruthless Xiongnu. Now, however, the supply of copper at Zhengzhou, so crucial for bronze casting, has been exhausted. Pan Gong, the new king, has thus decreed that the capital be relocated. After much searching, royal geomancers finally found a suitable location, and it shall be known as Yin. Fish the river, grow millet, wheat, and mulberry, and scour the hills for copper. Unfortunately, the area's clay is unsuited for kiln firing, creating a need to acquire both clay and ceramics through trade. Set aside a portion of the city for the elite class, who will doubtless appreciate luxurious silk, appetizing food, and acrobats. Decorative statues and wayside pavilions can now add a touch of beauty and grace to the city. Do not forget to develop a strong military arm, as not all cities bow to the Chang King. Paying heed to others' demands may appease them in the short term, but what does it say of the might of your city? It says a lot that we're weaklings. Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor, and we are moving to Yin to build a new capital. Some pretty lengthy numbers of requirements. So we're going to get 1,500 people in general. Uh, 1,100 people have to be in elegant dwellings. That's quite a lot. Uh, 10 bronze vessels and 40 people in lavish Sahel. And you come back to this mission at the end of the Shang campaign. So be aware you're going to be building a monument later. So let's go to the city. Pause immediately and have a look. Plenty of space, lots of rocks, so that's good for the feng shui of the, the architect's post. So I think this area out here is actually quite good looking for building some housing. So we can maybe put housing there, housing there, I don't know, just have a couple of housing blocks. Good amount of space for farmland. Um, we've got a natural cove here, so this is good. I think they said we can fish, yes, so there's plenty of good spaces here for fishing. Uh, the broad door is all on this side, so we're going to have to cross the river, as always. Uh, it looks like we've got silk farms, that's good. We can have money-making industries from the start, which is good. Uh, we can grow millet and wheat, and we can grow hemp. But it did say that we're going to have to import all the clay and bro um, ceramics we need. Unfortunately, we don't have the kiln. That means all the clay that's imported won't be usable for making ceramics locally. We have to import the ceramics directly. So we've got Khufu, Bo, Zengzo, which are already open as trade partners, so we can sell them a bit of bronze. And they sell us some ceramics, which is good. Uh, but none of the other trade cities are open, so... Um, we'll have to get a bronze ware making industry started up pretty early. I'll have to import a clay from somewhere though for that. Um, probably the best location is here to cross the, the river and have it kind of going around in a circle around this bit here. So if I clear the trees and all that, that should be okay. Um, so I'll go plan out an area of housing, I'll put down some farms and see how it turns out. So here's my housing block. Um, got some stuff set up. It took me a while to get all this set up properly. I'm going to have most of the farms up here, maybe a few down this way as well. Um, I just noticed that we now have sculptures, which are a lot better for providing desirability than gardens. Um, so. When I build out my housing blocks now, I will fill them with statues instead because they provide nearly all the desirability we need, so... Let's unpause the game and let the workers come in. And I do believe that we will need... Um, some military sooner or later because we'll get invaded, so... We'll have to get that set up fairly quickly. Let's put down this and wheat field. It should all fit within this space, I hope. If it doesn't, I'll just have to extend the farms this way down this bit here, because there's plenty of space. There's plenty of space down this way for me to put farms. I have to be careful though, because I don't want to expand it too much and lose out space for the, the monument to the next mission. And I realise I haven't crossed the river yet, so we better clear out some trees. There's too many trees here, and there's plenty of them, so you don't need to worry too much about cutting too many. And there's plenty down here, so... Not a big deal. Just cut some of these. And let's just draw the road like this. Like so. Uh, we needed quite a few workers, so we'll obviously want to get them in quickly. Let's put down the well. 
Herbalist stall. And let's also put, um, I believe, what is it? An ancestral shite. There we go. Speed it up. Let's we get the workers in, that'll help. Let's set safety to priority at the moment, just to get the housing evolved quickly enough. Like so. People are coming quickly. As you can see, I've disconnected most of the roads. Oh, a mill collapsed. Oh, I forgot to put down the, the necessary protection measures. That was stupid of me. Actually, no. Well, I'll put that there. Then we'll replace that mill, which is a kind of a waste of money. As you can see, we don't have much money left, so we'll want to get the trade going fairly soon. Um, who's buying silk? None of these people. Let's open up, we'll send diplomatic requests to a couple of people and see what they have to to buy. I might use this space, or oh, I don't know. I'll use some of this space for um, mulberry trees, so obviously I don't want to put too many, too many farms down. Can I fit a map? That's all bad function, a lot better hemp farm. I could fit a hemp farm in there, so I'll just go ahead and put that down right now. Since why not? We've got some salamanders, which is rather annoying, but never mind. Uh, I'll just put down the extra millet and wheat farms down this way because that'll be easier because then I can use the remainder of the space for uh, silkworm sheds because I'll just build up a small industry down here for making that particular type of stuff. Um, so let's see. Just extend the road like this. Obviously, because I've got that there now, they'll have to come down this bit a bit further, which is not helpful, but never mind. Actually, if I'm going to put all the farms here, I might just put the silk industry up this bit. Let me just check the uh, weavers. They'll have good feng shui in there, so that's not too big of a deal. I can delete that section and leave that all spaced out for roads, which is good. So the fish will come in. Fish is a fairly staple uh, diet to have. Uh, fairly stable food source that is. Uh, so Khufu buys silk, um, Bampo buys carved jade, so I really want to get this trade route open with Khufu ASAP. Uh, do we have the workers? No. But we can put down um, a silkworm shed. Or two. And let's see. Road connection. Like so. That space will be left for another silkworm shed. I might put another one in here, I don't know, but it's all going to get made up here at this top bit. And um, we'll just put a roadblock there to stop them from going down this bit. Like so. We'll try and have loads of silk being made, because why not? So we've got some fishing, we've got some food, so let's put down this food shop and get some extra workers, because that's what we're really needing right now. And this is a long mission, so this will be into multiple parts. And um, finally, you're getting a, a live here video. No one's coming in because they need the food. There we go with it, which is good. Uh, we won't bother providing much hemp, so we'll just turn off the hemp farm right now because we don't need it. The fish will provide us our staple um, bland food, and this wheat farm will provide uh, plain food. So one, two, three, two, three. I'll put in a second wheat field just to provide that level of housing. I know that we'll need um, a luxury rock down here, so we won't want to fill up too much of the space with farms, obviously. Drag the road down here, that's a good space for another farm actually. So this is all evolved. We've got 124 more people in. Um, what's the population got? Um, 1500. 
If we can fill up this block with just all the stuff we need, we shouldn't have too much difficulty. Oh, that was close to getting to bad harmony, so let's not do that. Now notice that how those buildings have evolved much quicker with statues. This is why you should always use statues when they become available. See there? Just those statues there have evolved them to fancy, uh, fancy buildings, so... From that, don't use um, anything other than fancy buildings. Um, statues to get the fancy buildings, sorry. No festival, I know. I think we get access to the acrobat school, which is good. We can put it just at the edge there, which is good enough. Because it needs to be near, right next to rocks, um, for I think it's fire or something that it needs, so... It's important it's next to the rocks. Yeah, we need more workers, I know. One, two. And let's just try some of the trees. Still some more trees in the way, let's get rid of them. There we go. And a storage for silk, so let's fill that up. Where are the gods again? I think it's just the same three yet. So let's go ahead and put down another silkworm shed since we've got some workers for it now. I forgot to say, get out of the way, Salamander. I do need to put down the administrative city soon because otherwise we'll have some invasions to deal with, which is not what we want. So, let's set the industry to, well, the wage rate's very high to get workers. It'll make them work more effectively, but we'll run out of money soon if we're not careful. Um, so, let's put down the safety buildings. Uh, Watchtower and that. The Watchtower is Spectre's Tower, sorry. And I believe there would be space for these things if we destroy the trees. Yep, good feng shui all the way along here for um, the bronze smelters. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need to have a crossing point, otherwise we're not going to work, so... Ferry. Like so. And then we'll just roadblock that in, like so. There will work. Needing some more workers though, so obviously we need to get some better food in here. So let's provide... Um, musician access, so that they'll get up to at least um, the next level. So I'll go and continue building this, and um, once I've got the silk ready, we'll set off to Khufu and um, start trading for money because we're seriously in debt. Well, not seriously in debt, we'll just need some money. Um, so as you can see, we've got some silk now, six loads of it, and we're getting plenty of it being made, which is good. I've got this now getting a good supply of um, wheat and uh, fish, so now that this is set to only get plain food. And you can see there's some um, hemp being grown, which I've got from this one hemp farm. But as you can see, we're running out of money. So let's go ahead and send some silk for bolts to Khufu and see if we can get them trading with us, because we need the clay from them. Otherwise, I can't make the the, brawn, the bronzeware that we need. Oh, an emissary for Bao Ji wants to enter the city with eight bronzeware vessels. How interesting. Um, let's just put... Uh, pause the game a second um, and see if we can find a place to put this thing. Down here looks good. And uh, get that. And bronzeware. There we go. So we'll be able to send this off as well and get the trade route to Kufu open even quicker, which will be very much appreciated, I hope. Now, I think these bronzeware. Um, makers don't like to be near. Oh no, they do. This is a good area for making it then. Because I can put the trading post up here. So this is all the the stuff being made here, which is good. Annoyingly, these salamanders are getting in the way, so they're killing off the bronzeware um, containers, which is not helpful. Um, I've managed to provide hemp and all that to this housing block. There's that gift. So these will all evolve, providing us even more workers, which is great. And then we might be able to get in this um, debt, the uh, low cash amount that we've got. Um, some people are unhappy, so let's give um, 
two bolts of silk to Nuwa to keep our place. We don't need any uh, gods coming just yet, so it's okay. So there's eight bronze rare vessels. Um, our emissary hasn't returned yet from Khufu, so we don't know whether they've appreciated that or not. So once they have, we'll send off all these bronze rare vessels and get that trade route open as quickly as possible. And um, so let's see, I'm going to put down this. Not there. There is where we're going to put it. Then we'll just put a road block there. And this will be a good place to put it. Oh, Kufu's grateful for silk. No, we're not holding the festival, don't have the money. They're apathetic, so let's go ahead and send a medium gift of bronzeware vessels um, straight away, because then it'll have an effect to get them up to respectful, then we can open trade with them quickly. Okay, so we're getting some unemployment now, so we can now start to grow our industry a little bit. So we're going to put down another hemp farm, just here, a plant out of camera, obviously. The only problem is that these salamanders will probably continually kill off the, the head makers, so which is not very good at all. As you can see, they're just wandering all over the place. And so we need to place out another silkworm shed somewhere. I think this will be a good area for it. Um, let's try some trees, obviously. a third mulberry farm, which is good. And we've got a nice big stockpile of food in this mill, which is great. Which is a load of wages, because that's quite a lot of unemployment that we really don't need. So we'll put down another one of these, and we'll put some roseware makers down in the spaces, just here. Oh, Cuckoo demands bronze. How interesting, let's just stockpile bronze in the this storage yard. How many did they need? Oh, that's the Bronzeware Vessels thing. Uh, three bars, two months, okay. And they're respectful, so let's go ahead and open trade with Khufu because it's seriously nearly out of cash. That's 200. We just need to wait for the last stock to come in. Oh, one of them just got eaten by the fucking salamander. Ah, there we go. Let's just send that off straight away and get him out of my hair because they're starting to get annoying. Especially those salamanders. Um, I think I'm going to have to place a wall or something maybe around this, but I know that they might get through the wall anyway, so it might not do very much. But we'll try. I can't hold there for some reason. Oh, it must be a spawn point then. I'll just do that. I'll try and build on there again. Nope, I can build on either side of it, but it won't let me build there, so it must be a spawn point or something. I'll just set that to 16 bronze and 16 bronze ware, because we don't really need to sell all the bronze. Uh, we don't need to have too much bronze get in stock. But once this trader of Kufu opens up, we'll be a lot better off. And Khufu is now trading, which is good, because they're now agreeable, because when I sent off that demand for Rosware, they um, regarded me more highly, so now we can start importing some clay to make Rosware, which is our main export of this mission, so let's find a good place to put these. We can do so by destroying the trees once more. So let's import clay, and oh dear, that's a difficult one. Actually, let's undo that and put it more in the centre here. Just here is better because then it means it is. It means I'll have to cross the, the river to get to it, but it means that they'll be able to get to this silk area as well and sell off silk. Um, so we'll just put it. In. What's that? One, two, three, four. There. Import clay. Only 25, so that's fairly cheap to import. So we'll import the clay and start making bronzeware because we're starting to really run out of cash here and some cities will want bronzeware. Let's see, can I just rearrange the road a little bit to fit a uh, bronzeware maker in there? I can. Two, three. There's plenty of space here. Oh, what was that? Uh, employees needed. Okay, that's 
good enough for me. This, I think all the people have entered this, so I'll need to sit up to high to provide some unemployment, which is good enough. Making enough hemp, which is good, although of course that salamander will not be making things any easier for us. Almost out of cash, so we're gonna have to sell off the silk soon. Uh, I'll just do that right now actually, we'll just start selling off silk. Import the clay. We don't really need bronze in here, so let's just try and get some silk into the city. Five loads, that's okay. Let's see, we're starting to run a deficit, so we need to start trying to get more money into the city. I'm going to put down um, a logging shed, and the reason is it'll provide wood to this tax office and get us some money off of taxation, which is also very welcome. Let's see, so we're getting some clay made. Well, not clay. Making some bronzeware, sorry. No, no Happy New Year because we don't have money. They're coming over to buy the silk. Which is good, this will get us out of debt. Like so, 950, that's good. Unfortunately, we're having to import clay at the same time, which doesn't really help. But we can sell the bronzeware, so we might even just sell all the bronzeware to Khufu and be done with it. Why is Khufu displeased? Is it because we don't have a... I think it's because we don't have a fort, so they're getting upset. So we better put down... This. Um, I think it's because we don't have a fort. Um, so we better make some more... Um, bronze, and I think I might have to put out another housing block, or evolve this one a bit higher. Not too good. I think that's the reason why they've gone straight down to displeased, because they usually don't go that quickly from agreeable to displeased. So it must be because of the fact that we have no military on this map just yet. So, since we've got the administrative city, I did put that down. I'll put down um, a fort if I can find a space for it. Uh, I'll have to just go with there. And roadblocks, like so. Because that'll be a good space for the acrobat. Like so. Like there, sorry. Like so. So I imported the clay, selling off the silk. We'll also be selling off bronzeware very soon, so we better um, start selling that to get some more money. So we'll just put it in there. Um, I think I'll leave it for this video because we've got a long way to go with building up this capital. Um, so I'll just take a save. In the next video, we'll continue building Yin and hopefully start to solve our money problems. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part, guys. Bye now.